Hi, me cuties. We're so excited to let you know that you can now binge our newest series, Influence, exclusively and ad-free on Wondery+. Plus. It's Meet Cute's modern adaptation of Jane Austen's Persuasion, and we know you're going to love it. So after she threw her bra in the fountain, I finally get her back to the hotel at 4 a.m. Only get a call at 6 a.m. Back in your bags. We're leaving in an hour. No apologies, just business as usual. Eve? Are you even listening? Sorry, V. That, that's rough. But you've dealt with worse. Remember Teabag Troy? Is someone there? Um. Oh, yeah, Hector. Who the heck is Hector? The cat chef. Wait, the guy Dante hired? Oh, yeah, but like he's not like a client, so it's okay if we date, right? You're dating Jean-Michel's personal chef? Please say it's okay, V. He's so cute, and these tight little buns. I just want to squeeze. Oh, Jesus Christ. You know what? I gotta go. Just don't do it on my sway couch, please. Okay? I'd love that couch. Stop. Okay, okay. Bye. Ready? Do I have a choice? Here, let me take your bag. Oh, so now you're a gentleman. Are you still mad at me, Violetta? It's Violet. Okay, easy. On the elevator buttons, uh, we have to replace them constantly. This is your hotel? Of course it is. Something is different with you. Your appearance is unpleasant. And you smell like a nightclub floor at closing time. No, get away from me! Okay. Yes, I look like this because I was up all night consoling a crying client at the bar. See, I was afraid she was a crier. Finally. You guys going down? Yes, please. Ground floor. So, the itinerary in Florence, we check into Villa Bernini. Ah, pranzo e cafe. Then I have a massage and spa there. You can present your new candidates to me. Sound good? Hey, Violet, uh, what do you call matchmaking for really old people? Carbon dating. <laughs> oh, I get it. Carbon dating. <laughs> Ciao, Violet. Okay, enough. What are you doing? Oh, did you just hit the emergency button? It's okay, it's my hotel. What do you want, Dante? I haven't slept all night because you... I want you to acknowledge me. You are such a child. What's the matter with you? You want me to apologize? I want you to tell me what really happened last night. And don't you dare say jet lag. I told you, she just wasn't the, the one. Let's move on. How? How do I just keep feeding you my clients only for you to ditch them as soon as you find one, probably, imaginary flaw? Ugh. Uh, are we running out of air? Look, I am sorry for making you clean up my mess. Really, I just don't like seeing women cry. That's it. Fun fact. Neither did Mussolini. Ah, uh, come on. You make me into a monster. Well, it required very little effort on my part. Uh, I never thought I'd see the outsides again. <laughs> oh, okay, look, uh, we're nearly there. I-, I can take you to my favorite piazza for lunch. The zucotto will melt your brain. Hey, Violet, say something. Are you ready to tell me what really happened? If you promise not to freak out. Okay, I used N to rate. I- I'm sorry. Ugh, I knew it! The prediction was only five years. Five years? I'm afraid of losing that time. My life is so short. Dante, even if your longevity predictor was accurate... It is. Those five years could have been the best five years of your life. You don't know what you could have been missing out but, on. But why try if it's going to end anyway? All of our journeys will end at some point. You can't just sit there and not go out and live life. But you haven't dated in years. Okay, this isn't about me. I'm not the one wanting to settle down. And neither do I. I want to settle up to find the one. Settling up? Rochelle was on Forbes' most powerful women in the world list two years in a row. You could do a lot worse than Rochelle Hughes. All right, uh, call her up again. We'll go on another date. Yeah, she's already on a flight home. Dante, I told you when we began you'd need to submit to the method. And then the very first date you go and violate my rule about using apps. All right. You know what? I won't touch it. Anymore. 
I don't believe you. I swear to you, on the soul of my mother. <sighs> Please, Violet, you are close. Rachel was great. She just... not perfect. But I know you are very good at this matchmaking thing. I had no idea how knowledgeable you were about dating, especially for a woman who does no dating herself. Getting off track, Dante. And also, I can't help but notice how incredibly smart and funny you are. Okay, yeah. okay, that's enough. Flattery will get you everywhere. Look, we can do it your way. The silly earpiece, all of it. So, will you give me another chance? The real question is, will you give yourself a chance? Violet to Dante, you read me? Oh, I read you? Uh, this is fun. I feel like I'm working for Chia. Chia? Wait, do you mean the American CIA? Okay, Marie will be here any minute. She's American and she's not very touchy-feely, okay? So just probably skip the customary kiss on the cheek thing. You can just shake her hand when you meet her. Va bene. I'll be here the whole time. Okay, how do I look? Great. Are you sure? Uh, look closer. Do you think these pants make my butt look uh, a little... Shh, she's coming. Dante? Mary. Marie. <laughs> Marie, what a pleasure. Dante Gargano. Oh, you're taller than you seem in photos. I should hope so. Imagine if I was only three inches long. <laughs> Size matters. Eh? <laughs> Easy, tiger. Oh, you are a riot. <laughs> See, I got this. What did you say? I said, shall we explore the academia? Sure. You know, I've actually been here five times before. Really? Then why did Violet suggest it? She's an art historian, Dante. I mean, of course you are a art historian. You must know this place like the back of your elbow. It's one of the most well-endowed museums in Florence. <laughs> it houses many of Michelangelo's unfinished sculptures, but, mm. of course, everyone only ever comes to see him. See the drama in David's eyes before the big battle? Yes. The tension in the muscles, yeah? The tendons and veins? If this gallery is so well endowed, then why does David have such a small wee-wee? Dante! <laughs> but that's an amazing laugh you have there. Oh, well, that is an amazing chin you have there. <laughs> Thank you for noticing. Look, Dante, I've seen all this already. What do you say we skip the museum and do a tour of that beautiful hotel suite you paid for instead? Mm, cierto. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Violet, have you been waiting down here the whole time? Uh, yeah. Uh, where's Marie? Oh, she's upstairs in her room. I, I told her I was going to get us champagne. Oh, so, sounds like it went well? Yeah. Very strange woman. Insane laugh. I like her a lot. <laughs> yeah, she's unique, all right. It's not going to work out. Dante! This woman is one giant red flag. So you slept with her? She might be an art critic, but she doesn't know a masterpiece when it's staring her in the face. Is this more wee-wee talk? No, no, no. She thinks Die Hard is the silliest movie she's ever seen. Also, she has one really dirty fingernail. Filthy, in fact. I mean, she's probably been working with a historic piece of art and got it dirty somehow. Anyway, we had fun, but we both know it was a one-time thing. So that's it? You're cutting out again. I cannot bear to be in the same room as that fingernail. You could be one manicure away from everlasting love. Oh, no, no, my mind is made. Now I have to go up there and let her know? Just tell her I'm paying for her flight home. And, and take this champagne with you. Say it's a gift for her travel. What a gentleman. I'll meet you at the bar after to go over some more matches for tomorrow. You know, I don't know why I bother with you, Dante. I really don't. You should at least go on a second date before you just write these women off. You're flying them all the way to Italy. Violetta, what is my number one motto? Carpe scrotum. <laughs> well, yes, actually. But my second favorite saying is... Life, Life is, is too, too short. short. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're itching to leave Italy. You really want to spend more time on someone I already know is not the one? 
I mean, at this rate, we'll shoot through all your matches in a week. How many potentials are there? Actually, a lot. You're apparently the jackpot, as Eve put it. <laughs> hey, your assistant said that. Yeah. Is she single? Oh, we don't do that. Don't do what? Date clients. Well, you don't date anyone at all. Mmm, this limoncello is spectacular. You haven't even touched yours yet. Okay, so for your next date, I was thinking... Um, how... can I ask you something? Depends. What kind of Asian are you? <coughs> uh, I'm sorry, am I not allowed to ask that? Uh, you might want to reframe that question a little, but yeah, I'm Korean American. Okay, so I've got more potentials hey, here. You told me to ask more questions and practice listening. Well, I don't know anything about you. I, I would like to know more. All right, like what? Well, how did your parents meet, for example? Well, my mom's originally from Philly. She went to Korea on her gap year, and that's where she met Dad. They were both just kids, maybe 19. But they describe this instant connection. Ah, uh, love at first sight. Something like that. Falling in love is always the easy part. What happened? Well, Dad's from a pretty strict Christian family. He's the firstborn, so they were against him marrying a foreigner from the start. When they found out Mom was pregnant... With you? Yep. Lil' ol' illegitimate me. My parents eloped, which caused this huge scandal. Are you in contact with your grandparents? I basically split my entire family apart. On both sides. Ah, it's not your fault. You were just a bambina. They chose love, even though it cost them everything. But they have you. You are living proof that beauty can come from chaos. My next question is, why haven't you pursued your own big romance yet? Taking risks is in your DNA. Helping others find happiness is my calling. I know. You're just like Emma Woodhouse. <laughs> Wait, you're a Jane Austen fan? Certo. You know, I've really never spent this much time with any one client. Yes, well, I'm glad that we have had the opportunity to spend so much time. <laughs> I knew it! Oh my god, Rochelle? Madai. Rochelle? I... <laughs> Rochelle, you're in Florence, but I took you to the airport. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I bothering you both on your romantic date? Uh, oh, God, no, this is not what it looks like. This is... oh, so you're not enjoying a candlelit limoncello near this gorgeous Baroque fountain under the full moon at midnight? Okay, okay, well, yes, that is what it looks like, but this is but, not... <laughs> Rachel, I apologize for leaving early last night. Please join us in Alex. Oh, I'm not here to break up this sexy soiree. I just came here to confirm my suspicions that this... this bitch has been taking my money and keeping all her clients for herself. Okay, I would never, never do okay, that. Okay, this Rachel. is not what's happening. And I was right. Okay, okay, can we all talk about this con calma? Don't tell me to calm down. I haven't had a second date in months and it's because you... No, no, no. <laughs> you so-called matchmaker have been bad-mouthing me to all your clients so you can weasel your way into their wallets and their pants, you slut. Ah, uh, you are out of line. Please, please, Rochelle, let's... You know what, let's just talk tomorrow when we're sober, okay? I'm gonna expose you, you fake, you phony. I'm gonna tell everyone what you're up to. That's enough. L let's go, Violet. Uh, no, 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 Rochelle, Rochelle, I'll call you in the morning. The last thing I would ever do you, is... You cannot reason with her right now. Dante, no. Look at you. <laughs> Embracing in plain sight. <laughs> no. Uh, I am helping her out of her chair. Mark my words, Violet Kang. You're finished. It's okay. She's not following us anymore. Oh, my God. This is a disaster. What am I going to do? I saw some crazy, drunk English lady threatens you in the piazza. That's a regular Wednesday night for me. Yeah, very funny, Dante. This particular crazy English lady is my rooster. Half of my clients come in through her wrecks, or wrecks of wrecks. My business, my reputation... It's, it's all I have. You'll get through this, Violetta. My God, this week I have found out how tough you really are. Sometimes the toughest stuff is 
Also the most fragile. If fragile means your passion and heart, then you make me want to be fragile also. I will call Rachel tomorrow to sort out this misunderstanding. Let's head back. We go to Siena in the morning.